Canceled last year, the Coast Guard Festival is back in Grand Haven. Yeah, back and looking better than ever as Fox 17's Julie Dunmire explains for us. Grand Haven's own version of the Hollywood sign says Coast Guard City USA. It looks beautiful from across the channel, but up close, it's a lot of work. A short, steep walk up a sand dune. Maybe the R is the heaviest. And you'll learn all you need to know about Coast Guard City. But the U is the most awkward to bring up. Meet Brad Boink. Coast Guard Festival finale event chair. But I've been the guy behind the scenes for years. And mastermind behind these new Coast Guard letters. And every single one of these lights is independently controlled. 16 million colors and eight feet tall, brand new this year, before they were made of plywood. But like all hard work. It took a little bit of time. Remaking these. Worth it? Well, well worth it. Before this year, that walk up the hill weighed a lot more. Can you imagine trying to lug 60 pounds up and down this hill? Brad knows what you don't see from the channel. Our job letter. Is this kind of attention to detail. The new letters weigh at least four times less. It's like, okay, let's replace them. Uh, let's go to a lighter material and let's do some things different. So we just rebuilt them from the ground up. Because if you thought Brad was the one carrying these letters up each year, you thought wrong. Members of the Coast Guard bring them up. Brad says the Coast Guard does enough heavy lifting on the lakeshore. They did it. They never complained. But you know when it's taking two people to walk up this sand dune, which is really steep. Which is why, in true Grand Haven fashion, it was so important to lighten their load. Now picture these guys carrying 60-pound letters walking up this hill. Another cool thing I learned about those letters, they are actually all kind of turned and set up in a wavy pattern so that they look straight from across the channel. They actually have folks down here with walkie talkie saying a little more to the left, a little more to the right when they're installing them. Just a lot of work that goes into those things. Happy to share a story you might not have heard about Coast Guard Festival. Reporting in Grand Haven, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News. Yeah, well, it turned out great and certainly beautiful yeah, just in fantastic. time for that big festival.